Good evening, everybody, or good day, good morning, good night, whatever the case may be. If you're in bed, well, I hope you get plenty of Z's. Anyway, tonight I'm taking a little few minute thing here to talk about Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Now, if you've been keeping up, you'll know they announced the inductees today, and, well, I was hoping they would disappoint me, but they didn't, in a sense. Um, as you know, or, well, for those of you who know, and those of you who don't, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, to me, is kind of a sham. Um, they've got, well, as far as I'm concerned, they've got way too many people in there that I don't believe are rock and roll. And this only further proves to me that the whole thing's weird. Let's, yeah, let's put it weird. Though I will admit that they did put some people in that deserve to be in there. But anyway, uh, we'll talk about a few of them. Well, maybe, you know, more than a few. Uh, Pat Benatar and Neil Gerardo, I think that's I think that's how you pronounce his name. Apologies if it's not. Uh, yeah, they belong in there. Uh, especially Pat, uh, great lady. Not was never a big fan of her music, but I respected her. You know, especially back in the day. You know, she opened doors for a lot of women. So, yeah, kudos, kudos to for Pat and Neil getting in there. They deserve it. Uh, the next one, Duran Duran. Um, I remember when these guys first came out, I was kind of sucked in to their music a little bit. Um, I remember listening to Rio and uh, what was the other song? Uh, let's see here. <laughs> it's been so long since I listened to these guys. Uh, there were girls on film. Uh, Rio, Hungry, Hungry Like the Wolf. I kind of like that song. Uh, Rio, her name is Rio and she dances on the sand. Uh, the Reflex, I remember that. Uh, I did own one album of theirs. It was on uh, cassette tape, Seven and the Ragged Tiger. Um, what was on that that enticed me, I cannot remember. Like I said, I had not kept up with these guys. Their music was okay at the time. It made sense for a little bit. For probably about 15 seconds. But. Uh, I don't know. It just. It just didn't. Eventually didn't turn my crank. So anyway. But anyway. They're. You know. They are rock and roll. So they. Deserve to be in there. Uh, that brings us to. Eminem. Sure, I know there's a lot of people who love Eminem. Uh, a lot of fans are just giddy with joy that he's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I'm sorry, but with all due respect, Eminem is not rock and roll. It's hip hop. People say, well, yeah, it's rock and roll. No, it's not. It's not for me. It never will be. I The closest I come to this kind of music is... Uh, 
Hollywood Undead. And, of course, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a big Hollywood Undead fan. I do have some of their albums. It's been a while since I've listened to them. But, hey. And I haven't got their most recent stuff. So. But that's the closest to this kind of music I, I come. So, uh, But, uh, Hollywood Undead is more rock and roll than Eminem. Um, but I'm sorry, I don't I don't agree with that. Uh, Eurythmics. To me, I'm sorry. To me, they were just an annoying time of the 1980s. Uh, sweet dreams. Um, I never got it, and I today I still don't get what is so enticing about that song. Uh, Marilyn Manson doing it. He took to me. He took an annoyance. Uh, somebody taking one finger and scratching on a, a chalkboard. And went full out and with both hands, all ten fingers nails scratching on the chalkboard. I'm sorry, but that Eurythmics, you know, two people, there's not a band. It's, it's, I don't know what it was. I'm sorry, but it's not, they don't belong in there. As far as I'm concerned, they do not belong in there. You can disagree with all, with me all you want, but to me, it, they don't. There's more bands out there, older bands, that are more deserving than any Lennox and whoever the other the guy is. Uh, that brings us to now to Dolly Parton. Now, Dolly is a great woman. Uh, beloved by country folk, you know, people. And I know they say that, you know, there's a lot of people on, on the rock and roll side that respect her. Okay. Uh, but does she really belong in the Hollywood, or, yeah, Hollywood, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? She even said she didn't belong there. She didn't want to be <laughs> inducted. But they, like, said, well, sorry, Dolly. We don't care. You're going to be inducted whether you like it or not. So, you know, she says she's going to show up, and I respect her for that. She said she's a great woman. Uh, I'm not a big fan of her music, but I do respect her for what she's done. But, you know, it to me, uh, Pink Floyd would be more deserving to be in the Country Music Hall of Fame than Dolly do, does to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And by that I mean Pink Floyd did some songs that could be construed as country. One of those songs is Free Four off their uh, Obscured by Clouds album. And there's a couple more on there. So, in essence, you know, this is, I don't know. But, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Lionel Richie, yeah. Not a big fan of his music, but I do respect the man. He did bring a lot of joy and, you know, a lot of great songs to people. Enjoys music. I, you know, I've see, heard some of his music and it's good. It's just not for me. But Lionel Richie does deserve to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh, Carly Simon. Um, beautiful woman. Uh, she deserves to be in there. Not a big, I was never a big fan of her music, but. I did like some of it. Uh, 
and she does deserve to be in there. So I'm glad she she got in. Now that brings us to one of my main bands. One of my top ten bands, if my, not my top five. Judas Priest. Um, I've been hearing a lot about how they're really not officially in there, but they are. They got them down as musical excellence, or musical excellence. What the hell does that mean? Musical excellence. Now the other, all the points, I, you know, Pat Benatar, Carly Simon, all them. They're down as uh, performers. You know, Duran Duran performers in performing category. Musical excellence. What the hell is that? Now is that saying that they're in just under this category or or what? You know, I don't understand it. I was hoping it would give me some uh, insight into what that means here, but it doesn't. So, but if that means they are in there, great. Um, I just hope this musical excellence over, you know, uh, doesn't mean that they're second class, a second class band under the performer category. I've, you know, so anyway, they're in there. I'm so glad they at least got in. Um, you know, they're, they took the heavy metal of Black Sabbath and that, you know, to the next, the next level. Got, you know, you know, where Sabbath's the fathers of heavy metal, Jesus Priest is the godfathers of heavy metal. So, anyway, loving that. I just hope this musical excellence is just not a like a diminished thing. Um, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. Don't know them. Um, so I'm not going to comment. No comment on that one. Ellen Grubman. Don't know him. No comment. Jimmy O'Bean. Don't know him. No comment. Sylvia Robertson. Don't know her. Uh, so I'm not going to guess she was a supreme. So, but anyway, I don't know her. No comment. Uh, Elizabeth Cotton, the same. Harry Bonafonte. I do know him a little bit. And from what I've heard and all that, Maybe, maybe not. You know, I just, you know, he doesn't feel like, how would I put it? To me, he's more of a, up there with, uh, oh, people like Tom Jones and stuff. Uh, of course, people would say, well, Tom Jones was rock and roll. Yeah, no, not really. Um, but, yeah, maybe he belongs here. I don't know. So, anyway, that's my take on this. They, you know, it just, I don't know. They need... To concentrate on just rock and roll. You know, as far as I'm concerned, they no no uh, hip hop, no country, you know, so and so. Um, of course, you know, I, some people at work were saying today, well, there are bands that do cross over from genre to genre, and that's true. 
you know, one being 38 Special, the other one being uh, Leonard Skinner, the Outlaws, you know, I like the Outlaws, 38 Special is okay, they're not, you know, one of my favorite. Uh, the Allman Brothers Band, you know, and so on. They do cross both, you know, genres, country and rock and roll. Uh, Elvis Presley, you know, the king of rock and roll. I was never a big Elvis fan. My mom was. And she still is. Um, but, and I, I'm not 100% sure, but I know, I, I believe he is in the Country Music Hall of Fame. I may be wrong, but there again, you know, he was, came out at a time where rock and roll was, and country were pretty close. It's the same thing. That uh, rock and roll did help country, push country forward more to become more of an acceptable genre for a lot more people. Because, you know, back in the 50s and 60s, uh, well, especially, well, let's say the 50s, country and rock and roll were the outlaw genres when you had uh, the big bands and boogie woogie and stuff like that, you know. Um, so they basically followed the same line and then they split. You know, rock and roll came its own thing and country came became its own thing. And uh, of course, then you have, you know, like I said, you have your bands that can go. Either way, you know, <laughs> kind of sounds weird, you know, can go either way. You know. But uh, anyway, I can see those bands, you know, like Leonard Skinner and the Outlaws being, you know, either Hall of Fame, well, being both Hall of Fames. Dolly Parton, I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> She's a country music. I don't think she has done anything that could come close to rock. Like I said, Pink Floyd would be, be better, a more chance being inducted in the Country Music Hall of Fame because they had at least a few songs that could come close. So, anyway, that's my take on this. Um, let me know your feelings on this whole situation. Um, even you know, put down who you thought should have been in there this year, who didn't get inducted. Uh, I can't remember all the the nominees. I have to go back and look, but I'm not going to. It's going to take a, a little bit to navigate this lovely uh, internet. So anyway, like I said pl please uh, leave a comment down below and let me know. Uh, Please subscribe. I'd appreciate it. It helped my channel out greatly. Encourage me more. Uh, hopefully this coming Monday, I'll be doing uh, Uriah Heap. I got the CD I was waiting for, the Equator. Uh, a lot of people don't like this CD. I've been listening to it. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not the best thing, but... I've only listened to it once so far. So we'll see. Uh, with this one, I only need one more album. And that is, uh, the I believe it's called Outsider. It's the one before their most current album, which I can't remember what the... Let me see here. Where's that album? We're down to the bottom here. Yeah, Living the Dream. The yeah, one right before Living the Dream. And I believe that's Outsider. So I wasn't going to get that with this. And uh, uh, Different World. 
but I didn't want to spend close to 50 bucks. By the time tax and everything and shipping, everything was added on, it had been around 60 for just one CD. Uh, maybe it went down the road. I remember one time I looked at Different World, uh, maybe a year or two ago, and they wanted quite a bit. The same with the Equator. So, but anyway, hopefully I'll be doing that this Tuesday, or Tuesday, Monday. I've also got some other things in the works. i got to do some figuring this weekend. You know, when you only get one and a half days off, you know, kind of hard, you know, working, working stuff like this in. You know, right now it's uh, almost 10 to 10, to 10 here in northern Utah on the night. Um, but yeah, it's go to work at, you know, get to work at nine, work till six, come home, have, you know, take a shower, have something to eat, relax from the TV for a few minutes, then, uh, go do other things, you know, write, pay bills, do videos, you know, it can be a chore sticking all that stuff in the one, in <laughs> a short period of time. So anyway. Hope everybody's having a good week, and uh, we'll see you uh, Monday morning at 11 o'clock. So hopefully, like I said, you're right here. Breaking all their albums, except for the live album. So, but, you know, what goes in there? They will be different. Stick some live albums in there. Who knows? But anyway, we'll see you all then.